Hi, this is Chuck Mahosnick from Technician's Toolbox. Bob Barrett is going to give us a little explanation of the Fluke 1507 insulation tester. If you're servicing hybrids, this tool could be an invaluable addition to your toolbox. Please remember that this is not an endorsement or a review of the tool, just an explanation of how the tool functions and what it can do for you if you're servicing hybrids. Thank you. Now here's Bob. This is strictly an industrial unit made for preventive maintenance, quality control, and troubleshooting of electric uh, motors in a commercial setting and transformers. As Toyota and perhaps other OEMs give specs for insulation tests, it would make sense to have a unit like this when diagnosing and replacing motor generators. I'm sure that there are other automotive applications that this tool could be used for, and I'm really looking forward to finding out what they are. Basically, you're applying a voltage, uh, specifically a uh, highly regulated, stabilized DC voltage, across a dielectric. And you're measuring the amount of current flowing through that dielectric. And then calculating, using Ohm's Law, a resistance measurement. What we're really talking about here is leakage current. Uh, the resistance measurement is in mega ohms, and you use this resistance measurement to evaluate insulation integrity. Uh, the rule of thumb for applying a load voltage is twice the rated voltage for DC and twice the rated voltage for AC plus 1000 volts. After you make the connections, you apply the test for one minute and after one minute you should read and record the resistance value. Here is what you get with the tester. The positive and negative leads are extremely stout and sharp to make a good contact with a case or a coil. There are also alligator clips for the extended 10-minute polarization index test or a PI test. The lead to the left is three-pronged and has a button in the handle. This is used for ohm readings, PI test, DAR test or dielectric absorption ratio tests, and insulation tests. You can also use it on the other side uh, as an ohm meter. It is a remote button that can be used instead of pushing the button on the meter. See we've got the standard test leads installed and here the meter is set on 500 volts to do an insulation test. Now that voltage will be applied for as long as you press the test button or it'll be applied automatically for one minute or ten minutes if you're doing the PI or the DAR position is selected. This shows the receptacle for either the standard or the remote test leads. You might also notice that this is a CAT4 meter and it's rated at 600 volts. Uh, I know there's a lot of confusion about what's a CAT3 meter, what's a CAT2 meter. Uh, in reality, the CAT ratings have little to do with the rated working voltage, i.e. 600 or 1000 volts and more to do with uh, meter protection of high transient voltages while testing. Very possible to have a CAT2 uh, meter rated at working voltage of 1000 volts and a CAT3 or in this case even a CAT4 rated at 600. But if there were an issue where you would have a a very high transient voltage uh, spike, that's where the higher CAT ratings come in. This is a shot of the remote uh, lead plugged in. And you see you can go and either side. The common stays in the middle. Uh, I've got this jumped across a uh, 6 volt automotive coil with a 900k 1 watt resistor to get this reading. Uh, this would be a reading that would uh, have failed in the case study in our program. Notice the red triangle in the photo. It's illuminated. That means that that 523 volts is being applied right now and it's coming in at 0.98 mega ohm. Anything under 10 mega ohm, according to Toyota, would be a problem in the insulation. So this test is uh, complete. I've simply locked the results in so I could take the photo. It is, however, important to leave the test leads attached to the component being tested until the test has been terminated, as the high voltage will then be dissipated through the component and not dissipated through you. So if anybody has any other questions or concerns about this unit, uh, what it can do, or maybe you would like me to do something with it and see the results, uh, by all means uh, get in touch with me and I'll be happy to do it. Okay, have a good day.